Hey guys, Joe Hildreth here from MyHeap.com. And man, another year has gone, has flown by, and we're getting ready to start a new one. So uh, I thought I'd spend a few minutes here and talk about, um, you know, where I kind of like to go next year. And uh, so I have two big things that I want to complete. I want to finish my Kenneth Well stationary engine. I've been working on it for, it seems like, decades now. Um, I know it's not been that long, but I'm really kind of itching to see it get it, you know, to see it run. And um, there's some other projects that I want to do This I think is just going to require uh, my little horizontal burp number four to be, comp uh, you know, put together and, and so I can do things. Now the mill, you know, as you know, is all taken apart. It's uh, all been cleaned up. It's been de-rusted. It's been painted. And it's ready to go back together. And I did talk a little bit about maybe, maybe doing some scraping or doing some tests. I think I might do some tests and that sort of and see how bad the, the mill is before I decide to scrape because I'm seeing a lot of flake marks uh, still on the uh, casting so I think you know maybe I can get away for a while and we'll just see and uh, and in the interim maybe I can get a little more comfortable with uh, this the scraper and uh, you know the process the process excuse me um, so those are the two big things that I want to do now I've got some other smaller things I want to do I promised uh, or I asked about a uh, if anybody be interested in a book binding video, at least a simple book binding video for you know your old out of print shop stuff, and because we all have it, and and it would be nice to have a, a way to, to keep that. I do have uh, all the stuff gathered together, and the book that I'm going to use to uh, demo that, and plus I think I'll show you how to make some uh, wheat paste and how to make book cloth. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm thinking I'll go there, and then if there's more interested in a little bit more, we'll do more. But I think that would probably get you going. Uh, you can get away with very simple tools, so it's, it's uh, stuff that you can dig up, use, uh, makeshift, whatever. Uh, it's not uh, it's not rocket science. But then again, this is not a professional book binding tutorial or anything like that that I'm going to do. But that's uh, another thing that I'm going to do. And then there's some other stuff that I'd like to do. I've uh, I got about 40, 50 pounds of brass uh, in fittings and stuff like that, and I probably got. 70, 100 pounds of aluminum. So I, I've got some uh, stuff here that I need to uh, melt down and, and get in ingot form. So I think I need to get the uh, crucible furnace fired up. I know I don't show much of that stuff. Um, between Myford Boy and Chirpy, um, those two guys right there, now they kick the castings out. So it's uh, they're great to watch, good, good folks. Um, all right, so I got a few things from Santa Claus I thought I'd share with you, just like I always do, you know, Father's Day Santa Claus and, I mean, uh, or Christmas and different stuff, you know, uh, that I buy for the shop, I occasionally show, and or if I get something in the mail. So let me bring the camera over here to the bench and I'll show you what I got. The first thing I want to start with is uh, some plans. This, these are from Stevenson Projects, and uh, this is the uh, this is the pedal TC car. Um, they have several pedal cars on their uh, website and uh, they're just I think they're cute as can be and look I'm uh, I'm thinking that uh, someday I'm gonna have some grandkids and, and that's the whole reason why I'm building these uh, steam engine toys and and stuff like this here is I I just want my grandkids to have something that uh, you just can't buy in a store right that maybe are durable enough that they can give to their kids and uh, you know and stuff like that uh, maybe it's just a I don't know uh, sentimental thing but anyway these are the plans for the pedal car has uh, has all the drawings and and templates and everything so um, I don't I don't know that I would record this but you know if I uh, have a grandbaby come along um, I think I'd like to do that and Santa Claus was nice to bring that for me so this book here is uh, ornamental turning by T.D. Walshaw and if you don't know T.D. Walshaw he goes by Tubal Cain um, not the YouTube creator, but the uh, Engl uh, the British in uh, engineer, the English engineer, uh, wrote a number of books. I have several of his books. Uh, you know, now ornamental turning. They haven't made ornamental um, turning lathes in uh, ages, the way I understand it. But and it's mostly it was mostly done on wood and ivory. But if you see if the camera picks it up, some of those patterns are just as intricate as can be, and and I just think it's a very interesting read and. And uh, Santa, the books, some of the most of the books that Santa brought me this year were um, mostly just reading stuff for me. Okay, all right. So here's the next one. This is a wheel and pinion cutting and horology, a historical and practical guide by J. Malcolm Wild. Now, 
I uh, never really thought I would be interested in uh, uh, horology, and I doubt that I'll ever build a um, clock. I just don't see myself doing that. But now the gear cutting that Robert uh, L. and I'll, I'll put his uh, YouTube a link to his YouTube channel here on the screen. Uh, these are some of the books that he suggested. We've had some pretty great discussions on. Uh, you know gear tooth design and and cutter fabrication and stuff like that so um when he suggested these books uh santa aka my wife um uh ordered some of them for me so so there's this one and then there's practical clock repairing by donald de carl i guess is how you say that um so i haven't read any of these books yet uh so I, i'm not sure what all's in them but i'm kind of excited to read it and read them. This one here I have started. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's a regulator clock construction and it's by Peter Hyman. Right? And uh, this has uh, got the plans for two regulator clocks. I've uh, been, been reading it. Very interesting read. It's got the plans and everything in there. So a lot of the terminology I'm, I'm kind of getting exposed to because clock clock or horology terminology is seems uh, kind of strange to me and then the last book is the clock and watchmaker's guide to gear making and other machines now this is by Robert Porter <clears throat> uh, Bob talks about uh, this book quite a bit and and his build of his uh, I think he's building a grasshopper clock if I remember right and Bob if I get that wrong please correct me in the uh, comments so um, this is talks about how to make the gear cutters um, and different tooling that you need to make those cutters and and that sort of stuff so this is a this, this is going to be a really interesting read and uh, I'm looking forward to that and there's some other ones that uh, Bob suggested and and I think I'm going to get those um, maybe after I wade my way through these here you know because I sometimes I get a more chance to read when I come home than I do anything else so all right well I tell you what let me uh, let me get this out of the way and and uh, let's uh, start with uh, some of the tooling okay sitting in front of me is the little Kenneth Wells stationary engine to where I've completed it and I think in the last episode I drilled these holes marked and drilled these holes for the crankshaft and the mounting screws and I did not have a tap the taps required uh, which I want to tap um, I'm thinking quarter 28 Although there's a small part of me that uh, is a little late now because the core size is too wrong, but there's a little part of me in hindsight wondering if I shouldn't have went with quarter 32 or quarter 40, which is more of a typical ME thread. But I, I guess it doesn't really matter. Uh, now these I bought, and uh, so I have the, uh, the bottoming tap, the taper tap, and the plug tap, and the die, and of course the, the drill. So that way they all just stay in the bag and they, they go together. So that's to uh, work on this here. So that wasn't tools that Santa Claus brought me, but it was uh, some tooling I had to order in order to, you know, make progress on the uh, little Kenneth Wall stationary engine. Next, Santa Claus brought me a set of machine chucking reamers, and these are from 16th to half inch by 64ths. Um, I don't know how well they're going to fit in the camera here. Let me adjust that a little bit. So. Uh, that's very handy. I, I, you know, I thought I was going to have to make a couple reamers out of some silver steel when, uh, or a drill rod, um, you know, for my Kenneth Wells en engine. But now this takes care of that problem for me, and I'm and I'm very grateful uh, that Santa, uh, my spare rib, you know, uh, purchased them for me. So, honey, thank you very much. Next on the list of goodies from Santa is a five-inch sign bar. I've been wanting one. I've got the, uh, you know, I got the gauge blocks and everything, and so you know, I'm not, don't really need it yet. But uh, as soon as I get the mill set up, that's more tooling that I have that's available for the mill or for just anything else that I need to set up. So I'm, I'm glad to have that, and that'll go in my um, drawer of of tools. Next uh, is some deburring, deburring tools. This one has a little hook. Now these are little triangular deburrs and there's three different size and they fasten into the end of this head. So I didn't have any uh, deburring tools other than a piece of high speed steel that I was using with my hand or a countersink. So those have definitely come in handy when I drill holes and need to deburr them and that whatnot. So thank you Santa. And finally I have here a set of eighth inch 
uh, number and letter punches. Now, these are Chinese, right? So the quality is probably iffy, but it's uh, better than uh, I didn't have any at all. So we'll see it. But now look, I, I gotta have some fun here, guys. Ladies, gentlemen. The Chinese, man, now they, uh, they have got, uh, they got a sense of humor, I think, when it comes to their company name or their manufacturer names or whatever. Because you remember I'd done these cameras, right? I'd done, I, I'd done a review on these cameras, right? And, it, and it's H-I-S-E-E-U, right? So it's a camera, right? So I see you, right? I get it. So if I, if I, if, uh, I see you with this camera, then these punches, I'm a pro, huh? Rim shot? Okay, anyway. So that's, uh, that's all the tooling that I've got. <clears throat> so I, I'm very, very appreciative to, to my wife for that. Uh, also got a piece of mail uh, from Anthony down in Alabama who uh, watches my channel and he sent me a nice little note. And uh, he sent me a sticker of his Ragsdale Creek workshop. Now I haven't got a sticker board yet. I think I'm just going to use a dry erase board um, so that it can be mobile and they're not that expensive. So I think that's the way I'm going to go. And uh, so I'm still waiting on one from uh, 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 Rust, Rusty Knox, Rust, Rust, Rusty. So Rusty, if your English is bad, my pronunciation of your channel name is really bad. Rust, Rusty Knox, Rusty Knox, Rustonix. <laughs> Anyway, you get the idea. Um, so I'm waiting on one for him, and uh, so I've been saving these up, and I'll, I'll do a video, a little short shop update video when I get my little board and put them all up. And uh, I plan on uh, trying to order some stickers after the first of the year. Um, I guess I'm going to go with Sticker Mule and uh, go with that. So I'll put this over here in my box of YouTube stickers. All right. Right there you see there's Emma and Actibab and Adam and so the ones that I've gotten so far. All right, so let me uh, put the camera back uh, and uh, we'll close this little video out. Okay guys, that was my haul from Santa Claus and boy, am I, am I appreciative. So like I said, uh, hopefully uh, in the uh, upcoming uh, weeks, uh, you'll see some more videos on the Kenneth Wells uh, stationary engine, my Burke number four milling machine and some other oddments and things that are gonna kinda shoot in between there so uh, as always I, I really appreciate you guys watching uh, and your comments and the interaction it's a great joy to me and if uh, you find these things helpful or useful please consider liking subscribing and sharing and I hope you have a very 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 blessed new year